greetings and welcome to a new video i hope you are all doing well so in this video i will show you how you can easily downgrade your a11 and some other supported devices from ios 16.7.5 or 7.x down to ios 16.6 .6 or ios 16.6.1 .6 using future restore the method shown in this video along with future restore is completely free talking about the supported devices i have this iphone 8 plus which we will downgrade so you may be asking what other devices are supported so as you can see it right here iphone 10 is also supported iphone 8 8 plus ipad 5 or these two ipads and you can see the version is compatible for downgrade are iOS 16.6 .6 to iOS 16.7.4 provided you have valid SHSH or BSSH is two blobs for these versions. All right, so what are the requirements for this process? So you will need the future restore from the dev branch. So you can get it from this nightly link or you can get it from here or you can compile it yourself if you want. I will provide the links to Future Restore and Gester, which you will need to get upon DFU in the description or in the pinned comment. All right. And you will need Palerain. If you don't know how to get your device into DFU, you can get help from Palerain. You can get Palerain from its official GitHub page as you can see it right here and you can get the linux binary from assets it is easy so this one will work for you most probably all right before you can run a binary you can simply open a new terminal and then type sudo space chmod plus x and then simply drag the binary in press enter type in the password for your linux and then it will work or it will show you command not found all right you can do the same with the gesture binary or future restore binary if they do not work straight away all right next guys you will need the ipsw for the version you want to downgrade to so for me I have this iOS 16.6 .6 IPSW so you can get it from IPSW.me simply select your device from here and scroll down and choose your device so I have this iPhone 8 plus global version so I will choose it and then I will simply get the IPSW from here and download it to my PC now to get your blobs like this i have i was 16.6 .6 blob right here which is shsh2 as you can see it right here now you will need the ecid of your device so where you will find the ecid you can uh, simply connect your device to itunes and then simply double tap on the serial number here right here beneath the phone number and it will get you your ecid all right and then you can get it and let me copy it from here as i have typed it and then you can use tss saver to retrieve your save blobs by simply pasting the ecid here all right and it will list all your saved blobs right here all right or you can use shsh.host and you can simply hit find my and then paste your ecid and it will list all your saved blobs if you did not save your blobs they will not be listed here all right so your blobs has to be valid so for example i have this ios 16.6 .6 blob right here it has to be valid and if you want to check which are valid and uh, which are not you can uh, simply head to the tss website hit blob checker 
and then simply upload your bnob here and then you can check it if it is valid all right guys once you find your blobs either on tss saver or sh sh host or if you save your blob locally by blob saver get them and yes both the extensions b sh sh2 or the one i have sh sh2 will work provided they are valid all right guys once we have gathered all these stuff now we are good to go now let's launch pale rain so we can get our device into dfu mode first also if you can get your device into dfu manually by yourself you do not need to follow the step to use pale rain but for your ease you can use it so where is the binary now open a new terminal you can simply type sudo then you can simply drag the binary in then hyphen d all right please make sure your device is connected via usb all right press enter type in your linux password here and your device will automatically go into recovery mode and then you can follow the instructions to get it to dfu first now simply press enter and follow the instructions to get it to dfu all right you can see that my device entered dfu successfully now you can minimize it and now we will get our device to pond dfu mode so open a new terminal and use gaster sudo space and then simply drag the gaster binary in i told you before that if you get the command not found error you can ch mod and then it will work all right now type p w n press enter and type in your password press enter again and you can see now you can boot untrusted images now type sudo space dot slash gaster reset all right and press enter now you are good to go now you can minimize this as well now we have future restore open a new terminal here and then type sudo space dot slash future restore hyphen T where T is your blob just drag your blob in now type use pawn dfu set nonce hyphen hyphen set nonce now latest sep latest baseband and now simply drag the IPSW in all right and press enter type in your linux password and wait for it all right you can see it is sending ibss and then you will find this and then it will get stuck here so manually unplug your device and then replug your device and then you will see that it says that is failed to set the generator but it indeed worked don't worry all right so your generator is set you can see it right here writing generator all right one tip here that if it does not get stuck here you are good to go but it if it get stuck at booting i back and waiting for your device to disconnect and it is stuck here you can simply manually unplug your device and quickly replug it and then it will work just fine for you all right now guys once this process is done your device screen will be black but your device will be in recovery mode this is weird but now we will force it to get it to the recovery mode so quickly press volume up and volume down and then press and hold power button until your device gets into recovery mode do not leave it all right all right once 
you press and hold the power button for so long you will see the screen and your device will be in recovery mode now you are good to go all right now guys to make sure that your usb connection works on linux open a new window open a new terminal window here all right now you can simply type in this command sudo systemctl space stop space usb max d type in your password for linux press enter now type this command sudo space usb max d space hyphen p space hyphen f and press enter and leave this terminal minimized all right now open another terminal and then we will run future restore you can simply press the up arrow to simply bring the old command up and then navigate to use pawn dfu and delete it all right delete pawn dfu use pawn dfu and delete set nonce it will leave you with latest sap and latest baseband flags along with your ipsw your blob and future restore all right now simply press enter type in your linux password again now guys at this point it will start downloading sap baseband your se firmware so wait for the process to complete all right guys between the process when the se firmware is downloaded it will start to download cryptex one dot dmg now this dmg is 2.7 gb in size so you will have to wait here now guys as i said that if between the download your device kicks out of recovery mode please do not worry you can leave the process right here and then you can simply repeat the process by getting your device into dfu first all right and then you can simply run gaster again so sudo space dot slash gaster pawn pwn and all right and then run sudo space dot slash gaster reset all right and now you can simply rerun the command so that we can set the nonce simply press up arrow and press enter now simply manually unplug and replug and you can see it worked and this time we did not get any failed to set nonce error but both ways are okay the failed way if it says failed again it will also set your nonce or you can see it worked this time now force your device into recovery mode like we did before quickly press volume up volume down and then press and hold power now you should see the recovery screen after forcing your device to recovery mode now again simply press ctrl c then run the stop usb max d command again and run the usb max d hyphen p hyphen f again then leave it here and wait for this big download to complete all right guys so once the large download the cryptex one dmg is done it will start downloading some more files so wait for the process to finish and then the downgrade or the restore will start in a second make sure again your device is showing the recovery screen all right the recovery mode screen and then it will start extracting the file system from the ipsw as you can see this folder here all right as you can see the process is working we don't have any error now sit back and relax and let the process complete all right all right as you can see no errors no problem it is now sending the file system all right guys between the process after sending the file system it will start sending cryptex one system os all right so this step can take some time 
so please wait sit back and relax and here you can see after the cryptex one is sent the process will proceed and succeed in some time all right guys as you can see the process is done restore succeeded now i will set up my device and then i will show you the version all right so guys here is my same iphone 8 plus after downgrading back to ios 16.6 .6. now i will show you my version general about yes it will show a 16.7.x or 7.5 here but if you open it you can see it says ios version 16.6 .6, but here is your rapid security response all right but this is the actual version so i used 16.6 .6. and yes of course troll store works i have tested troll store i have tested dopamine i have tested by setting a passcode everything works just fine without any issues here and to make sure that it is the same device you can check out the serial number and again if i hit ios version it's an ios 16.6 .6 iphone 8 plus that's all for this video if you still have questions please ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself